This RSBNB Update Nibble originally aired on RSBNB Update 733, Bone Crush Dreams. Enjoy. I, I think one of the problems that there was around comp is that, you know, the end game in RuneScape is just, it's not great. Like it's undefined. It's undefined and just everything is just clumped together on and it's called comp. There's no real thought about it. For a long time, they didn't add any new requirements on new content because they didn't want to piss off the PVMers. <laughs> like, no, but that's... that's I know, it's true, but that's, that's what it is. And um, I appreciate you for so, spelling it so you know, clearly. That, that, that was actually a problem that they didn't solve, I think. They didn't really fix paths beyond max, really. And so I think it's not fair to say that they solved all the problems they set out to solve. That's a problem they didn't solve. That's a problem they set aside and they focused on the more pressing problems in their opinion. Yeah. Um, very deliberate choice of words there. And if they wanted to solve the more pressing problems, they could have, but they would have. I also think they like would have went somewhere like- that was different than the initial scope. It was something that was starting to suffer feature creep, right? In a way, yes. Um, that being said, I still think it is a problem, but maybe like the comp rework was not the right project to tackle that. Exactly. I think it, needs, exactly. it needs a more holistic thinking. It needs to come, of... back, come back to the solid ground first. Yeah, it, it just needs somebody or a group of people to sit in a room and to really think about what is RuneScape, how does the end game look, and what do players get out of the game at that point, and how can we enable that best. And, there's and gonna that be a- is a project that sort of needs to be built from the ground up. It needs to be, in my opinion, they should develop it completely separate from comp. Yes. See what they come up with, and then when they have sort of a solid design, then they can look at how does comp fit in this picture. Maybe it doesn't. Maybe it does. Like it, it, it sort of truly depends, right, on what that design is. And that is probably a better way to solve the end game. But is there any motivation for Jagex to do it? That's sort of the question. It's too big of like, a risk. It probably is. It's like we've long talked about that you pull off one successful update after another, you know. The player-owned farm, the needle skips, the mining mm-hmm. and smithing update, Anachronia. The question is, where do you spend that capital? That being said, they spent a huge chunk of it on the on the hunter rebalance. By oh, the way, oh sure, yeah, but like it is also not that they would never do like take a risk like this. Like the mining and smithing rework, they did exactly what I just described, right? They went back. They they basically threw a lot of the ideas of what mining and smithing was out of the window, and they were like, okay, what is this skill? What does it have to do? How do we want players to interact with it? What needs to be the outcome? They really looked at what do we want to achieve? What do we want to create? And then they built the system that fits into that. That's really sort of the design that we need to have applied to the end game. And there's other places in RuneScape where this can be applied as well, but I think the end game really could benefit from this sort of truly back to the roots discussion of what is it and what do we want it to be. Yeah, and you know, and this is what I told everybody not to worry about is that, you know, if we fight hard enough for this after the comp cape rework comes out there's a chance that you know we could bring forward these milestone capes like that in some kind of an update going forward but mm-hmm. you know and and there's going to be a good forum for that too we were talking this past weekend and we added uh three more topics to our potentially monthly bit list and you know i'll just say what those are right now because i think they're interesting to think about and we want to look at them at some point in the future defining the end game of runescape Mm-hmm. Has anybody ever tried to do that? I I don't think so, and I think that's neat. What's needed to really, really build an amazing system and keep the games long, uh, long 
long, longevity, longevity. I can't. Yeah, but that anybody thing. inside Jagex or outside of Jagex? That's the question. I mean, does any player it, think of it that way? You, like, I think Jagex needs to define it, but they need to validate that view with the players, of course. Yeah. 